Hey guys, welcome back. This is Dominic with Silver Spoon Reviews, and we're going to jump right back into The Wolf Among Us, episode 4 in Sheep's Clothing, and this is part 3. Uh, last time we left off, we had just found out where the Crooked Man, uh, where his uh, little transporting door is, and it seems to be in Central Park by the Conservatory under this bridge. And here we are. And we look pissed as shit. Um, let's not do that. Oh, shit. That is unfortunate. Yeah, why not? It, oh, okay. It must move after every use, it looks like. Oh, you're fine, baby. Don't worry about it. Tim, what the hell are you doing here? Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. Tiny. Yeah, no thanks. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. But I get it. You're not here on a social call. What is this place? Or where is it? I know I'm not in Central Park anymore. I'm not sure. I've only ever come in through one of the portals. I don't think you can get in from the actual street. But you can't blame him for wanting to make it hard to find. Hmm. I'm supposed to bring you right on in. So if you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Please don't make this hard yeah. on me. Fine, lead on. Oh, I don't trust you, Tiny Tim. I don't trust you at all. Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard, or an escort for that matter. I was a little surprised myself when they asked me to do it. Tim, how can you be working here? You know who this guy is, don't you? He's not... He's not as bad as you think. He doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job. And I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. And if you're here, it can't be good. Don't you realize you're not just minding the door? Work for that crooked bastard, your hands get dirty too. It's not so bad. Not so bad? Are you fucking blind, Tim? He's a murderer. So you're telling me you agree with everything Crane does? Wow. A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. We're already being assholey enough. We don't need to, you know, make a point of him being crippled. Stop laughing at me. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. You first, good sir. Sheriff Wolf, sir. Oh, shit. Thank you, Tim. I know the sheriff isn't the accommodating sort, but you handled it. You did well. You can go now. Thank you, sir. I wish I had a double pane door that closed when I only you closed see, one of them. Everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Why don't you have a well, there's a lot of anger in this room. A great deal to discuss. <sighs> Why the fuck not? All right, you got me here. Let's talk. Ugh. 
Okay. Let's see what's going on here. I'm gonna be really pissed, guys, if this is like the end. If this is the oh god damn it. It would I've be. Heard stories about you. In the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, that was great. The wolf is coming. And they would wait. Hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. <sighs> oh, well. <clears throat> okay. Man, that was a short episode. Mmm, yeah. I, I find myself thinking we should have sent him to the farm, too. It would have been nice to not have to deal with him. Um... Okay, we didn't try it. I think we all knew that removing him, the versus ribbon, was dangerous. 50-50 split? I mean, I guess it's just assuming what you should do. Oh my god. So nobody decided they wanted to talk to him? People wanted to, like, fight him? What, what would be the point of it? We're surrounding whatever, people are dumb. And uh, let's see the credits. Okay, so I'm gonna let these roll. Hmm, that was shorter than I thought it'd be. Also, I don't, I feel like we're, we're finally getting somewhere, but I don't feel satisfied about it. It's a really strange combination where I'm ecstatic that we're moving forward and like we we're actually at the crooked man's place. I mean there's some insane magic being using. I don't know what's all going on right now. But I feel like it was just a setup, you know, like I don't it was almost unsatisfying because I don't there there wasn't enough answered, like there wasn't enough done. Like there was a lot of questions answered but nothing really done. So yeah, we found them, but but what the hell happens next, you know? So that's going to be the real big thing. Um, I wasn't expecting <laughs> this episode to be so short. Um, I thought there'd be, you know, another 10, at least another 10, 15 minutes to it. They're normally about an hour and a half a piece. Um, I guess maybe this is close to an hour and 20 minutes or something like that. But uh, I haven't decided if I'll just upload another short third part or if I'll just tack it on to the end of the, uh, part two, but otherwise, guys, this is Dominic with Silver Screen Interviews. Thanks for watching this episode of The Wolf Among Us. If you guys liked it or the series at all, leave a like down below. Always appreciate it. Comments, criticisms, critiques, what you guys did, how you feel about your playthrough if you guys are going through it, let me know. Always love hearing from you guys. Otherwise, thanks for watching this episode. Have a good night, and I will see you in the next part.